welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brianne Beebe. I'm a high school math teacher and I've been teaching geometry for eight years. However, this is my first, not year, but just time ever, teaching geometry online. For today's video, I wanted to share three low prep geometry projects that you can do now while we're ending the year in distance learning. I'm going to preface this by saying that none of these are like earth shattering ideas or even my own original ideas. These are classic geometry projects that I'm certain every one of you has heard of before, but just explaining how you could implement them for distance learning, just in case the thought hasn't occurred to you yet. The first one is creating a picture using geometric constructions. This is a project that teachers have implemented where they essentially hand students a piece of paper, a compass, a straight edge, and say, have at it. Draw a picture of some sort, but using geometric constructions only. You could add in constraints that they have to include certain constructions or that they need to have a certain number of different constructions. However you want to do that, online what you could do to do the same project is use GeoGebra. I'm going to link that down below in the description box, but GeoGebra is a free online application where students can create geometric constructions. This is the app that I switched to since we stopped using Geometer Sketchpad just because this is available for free. So students are able to access this easily. You can just have them take a screenshot of whatever they create and send it to you. Now, if you haven't been using GeoGebra in online learning, don't worry. They have an entire YouTube channel dedicated to ways that you can use GeoGebra. I'll have that link down below too. The second project that you could do even in distance learning is a geometry photo scavenger hunt. Geometry is everywhere and all around us. Check out these parallel lines in my background. So you could have students take their cell phone or if they have an actual camera, even better, and just go around and they could do this in their house. They could go outside, find pictures of terms that we learn about in geometry in real life. You can give them a list of geometry terms to find. You could even, just thinking about this now, like this just occurred to me, you could assign point values to different types of things that they might be able to find. Like it's very easy to find rectangles and parallel lines, perpendicular lines, all that stuff. You could assign those lower point values and then something that's more difficult to find, like maybe a regular hexagon or a rhombus perhaps. You could assign those higher point values, just a straight up parallelogram. You know, the ones that actually don't look like a rectangle, but like look a little bit slanted. They're not easy to find in real life if you think about it. So you could assign those higher point values however you want to do it. Concentric circles would be a fun one. We just need the target logo and we're good. So that's an easy activity that students could do, but it just gets them thinking and looking at their world in a different way. So it's a valuable worthwhile project, even though it is really simple. Since we're doing everything for distance learning, I suggest not having students just send you a bunch of pictures. I would recommend having them add the pictures into a presentation of some sort. For example, like using Google Classroom, I would have my students doing this on Google Slides. So each photograph can get its own slide. They can identify the term that they found. They could even do an explanation of what the photo is of, or they could define the term, however you'd wanna do it. For the third project idea, because students have learned so much throughout the year, you could have them teach a topic. It would be up to you if you want to allow students to choose a topic. I feel like anytime I've allowed students to choose a topic to do, they always pick like the sum of the interior angles of a triangle or something really basic and simple like that. Or you could assign them topics. But just given the fact that we are crisis teaching right now, it might be best to allow them to choose a topic and then have students present the topic in a way that someone who had never encountered this topic before would understand what it is. In class, we've done this by creating posters. So an alternative to creating posters would be creating a slide on Google Slides or creating like an infographic of some sort. They could even use Canva, which is a free software that students could use to create pictures. They also have so many apps on their phone that I'm sure do something very similar anyway, so they could use one of those. Another way that we do this when we are in the classroom is to actually make up a slideshow. And one of my favorite components of that project is students have to create their own original example and then explain how to solve that example. 
So there you have it, three very simple, very easy to put together projects for your geometry class. And technically, a lot of those could be adapted for any math class. If you have any questions or any other ideas that other people might benefit from, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.